In this video we're going to talk about the time preview up here. Uh, the time preview is a very very useful function because particularly if you're looking for process improvement opportunities you can see here I've got my uh, video here with the operators collapsing a cage and uh, one of the guys here goes the wrong way around he goes to the right instead of the left as a result everybody's waiting on him okay there's a number of other things happening here but that's the key things what we've done is we've timed each of the operators in turn here and uh, if we go to the time preview now if I check it with subjects as stations right that's the key thing here if I go to the time preview now you'll see what happens here it comes over and each, each subject has its own little station if you like in the balancing area here so you can see operator 3 is holding everything up while he walks around here all right so this is the uh, the most uh, common uh, uses where you have subjects as stations and it's going to look for the different subjects that you have defined here and it's going to create an individual station for each operator in this particular area okay now the other options you have is if I was to remove the subjects as stations what it's going to do is it's going to stack them up in the sequence in which you've recorded them here so you can see if I go to the time preview now instead of getting multiple subjects I just get one task and they're all sequ they're all just loaded on top of each other and this really tells you very little but it's just an option that you have to be aware of that you have to click on the subjects as stations if you want to see that in this example here we've got uh, a repetitive type job where the guy's just machining the part over and over again so you can here we've got multiple observations so obviously we could send the um, if I uncheck the subjects of stations here and I pass it across here I'm just going to get the whole list of all the observations that are performed just like we saw a moment ago there however if I leave the subjects of stations I can say use averages in preview and what it will do it will take the average of these times and it will just pass it so rather than getting all the transactions it's just going to summarize it these are the average times here that you've actually calculated here in fact the average here is actually the same as you get as you went over, if you went over to the summary here it's going to show you the total time minimum maximum number of observations and averages they're just being used directly here and by the, having this particular option checked here and then passing that information out to the uh, preview so again just use these functions here to control the information that's passed over into the preview area